All right, guys. Don't forget about the little beanies. Six pack of beanies. Keep that sweat off your head. You look as good as me. All right, we're going on another ride. So, grabbing my battery. Grabbing my seat. Saying goodbye to the kids. Bye. Bye. Kisses. Bye to the wife. We're going for a ride. I gotta get my key too. Don't let me forget. Bye, Bye buddy. I'll be right back in. I gotta get my key. Love you. Love you too. Kids are awesome, man. Grandkids are adopted. Get my key. All right. Get this put in. There's some exciting news <clears throat> that I probably would have never known about, guys, if it wasn't for uh, people commenting on my post. Um, Walkie has changed their design for the better. Now, I went on there and I found out a couple of these things for myself. Some of it's, it's just hearsay from other uh, people that's got the bike, but they have shrunk the size of their battery. They've shrunk it down to where it's about the same size as the 40 amp hour, which is great news for everyone who's in the 5, 9, and under range. Now you'll be able to sit on your bike properly. You can get your suspension post seats and things like that and still fit on your bike, which is awesome news. The other deal is they put, they have a di different display on there, which I guess is kind of bad. So for some of you that need to set your tires to 23 inch, they only go in two increments, so it'd be 22 or 24. So you have to work that out. Um, let's see, what was the other, all the other awesome news is, not only do you have a thousand watt motor on the back, you get a thousand watt motor on the front. Man, am I jealous. Um, not that this thing doesn't have enough power, it does. And not that I'm unhappy with it. I'm After all the tweaking I've done, I'm pretty happy with it, but that's something I would like to have known. I probably would have waited for the new one to come out. I've also heard, now this is just hearsay, the swing arm here, I've heard that this has been lowered to change the center of gravity. You guys can let me know if that's true or not. That's a nice new feature. Now what they haven't done, I think they decided they wanted to keep this thing able to carry 400 pounds. So they left these heavy shocks on the back of this thing. Why they do that, I don't know for sure. I would at least make them adjustable. I mean, if you're going to do it, make them adjustable, people, so they walkie, so that people can adjust them to where they want. I'm still looking for shocks that will work for this. So if anybody finds something, let me know. Oh, the other deal with the battery is not only is it smaller, but you no longer have the bottom post. It runs off what looks like a computer cable, and it plugs up in the top, so you don't have to worry about moisture getting down there, and dirt getting down in there. So that's some awesome, awesome news. Something else I was taught is you know when i measured my tires to see how tall they were i measured from you know the bottom of the tire up to the top and you eyeball it best you can you can't tell exactly but i came up to 23 something it was under 24 inch but uh, i had another commenter tell me you go from the center center post here from the axle to the bottom of the tire and you sit on it actually you do this in the back and you sit on it and have somebody measure from the center axle to the bottom of the tire and you times that by two, and that's going to give you the, you know, it basically comes out to the same thing. If somebody were to just measure from the top to the bottom while you're sitting on it, but it comes, it's easier to do, I guess, if you measure from the center post to the bottom. And that's the height of, that you need to set your settings for in here. Mine happens to come out to 23 something, so I'm only off a couple tenths on my speedometer. It's really close now. It may be different for you. If you weigh 100 pounds, you know, it's going to be different. If you weigh, 300 pounds it's going to be different so that's why it's important to measure from here to the bottom when you're sitting on it have somebody measure it for you that way you can tell what your true tire size will need to be in your settings to get your speedometer right that's something else that's neat all right so i'm going to put this in here i'm not planning on a huge ride today i do want to go down a path i've been down before but i wasn't down since uh winter time I'm struggling with my seat, guys. Anybody else ever did, or my battery. I don't know if anybody else ever has that problem. That thing's hard to get on there. Um, well, anyhow, I'm going to go down. I think it's Riggle. Riggle, Riggle, I think. 
and now that it's nice and green and colorful through the woods it'll make for, for some uh beautiful scenery shots so i'm going to get that probably going to make a few shorts out of this right it's something i don't do a lot of but i'm going to do just put some nice scenery do some music or something you know it gets the walkie brand name i don't know why i'm i'm getting their brand name out because i ain't getting paid nothing for this uh but i like the bike and now that it, they've made changes to it that's going to improve it i'm crazy excited about that so uh maybe someday i'll come up with one maybe someday they'll give me one to test out i don't know i'd like to have that happen too to get some uh different bike makers different bike companies send me some bikes to test out for them but till i get up there around the 10,000 subscriber area that probably won't happen till then i just gotta ride my bike guys and i hope you're still enjoying the footage i'm gonna try to make it exciting as i can i'm getting healthier me and my daughter's gonna start going a little bit farther going different places so that'll be coming in the future football season's coming up too so there's gonna be a lot of football videos on my on my channel too for the miami dolphins for those of you who happen to be miami dolphins fans i can't help it i've been that way since the 70s since they were undefeated you know i've been fans of this since i was just a little you know squirt anyhow i'm gonna go on this bike and i'm gonna take off we'll see y'all here in a little bit all right here we go guys here we go Woo! Something rattled around the back. I wonder if I forgot to zip it up. Better check that out. Better check that out before I go any further. No, it's all right. Oh, I come undone. Okay, let's see what's going on. All right, guys. Temporary malfunction. Had to fix my bag. And I temporarily fixed it. It ain't fixed. All right. Technical difficulties. Let's see if we can get her going now. tidbits the information I gave at the beginning of the video let me know if all that's correct I've talked to two or three people through comments is where I'm getting a lot of the information then I went on to, to the site to you know to back it up and I can back up two of the tidbits the third one I'm not, not sure about as far as that swing arm goes so I said they put a they lowered the swing arm which would make sense since we're lowering the battery holder. It gives them room to do stuff like that. Change the center of gravity. Sounds like they made some good changes. Now the, the display that they're using now doesn't have some of the, you know, like the tire size. You can't change it to exactly the tire size. What is beeping on me here? I got something beeping, probably a camera get up here I bought these new batteries these enduro batteries now they started off working great lasting a long time but as of late they're not lasting as long so yeah it may, may be better off just going with the standard GoPro batteries so I may have to put one in I got something beeping I can't tell if it's my helmet one or my chest one here I'll stop all right guys here we go again my phone <laughs> I went home to get my phone check my cameras make sure the record and forgot the phone again right, we'll try again you have everything I don't know you probably got water oh my strap came off my wrist I broke a strap on the bag forgot my phone twice you have your water I'm not taking water today. 
All right, got my phone, and I'll call home. Man, oh man, guys, this was a rough one. This is the most fumbled up start to a ride I've ever had. All right, guys, this is my third time I've taken off out of here. I had my bag strap break. My phone, my camera turned off, my helmet. Come off my glove. I forgot my phone. Two times. Hello, whoever you are. So this will be my third ride out here on this seat with the uh, dispatcher post. Take this down to five because I've already went on about three trips now. This is the second one up the hill. My legs are hurting. alcohol rehab as it says. I like my beer. favorite stop spot see if I can fix the app here why is it doing this there we go here we go again just down to my favorite speed put my gear in my favorite gear and I'm gonna try to have fun on this ride whether I like it or not <laughs> it's all right if you think I'm crazy all right, let's see if I can get my helmet over here far enough. See this view, guys. Without wrecking, of course. It's beautiful. It says a beautiful day. Something trying to keep me from going out here and enjoying it. Look at that farm. It's a beautiful farm. Look at that 
pond. All right, now this is some more beauty. You go through these trees when they're full like this. No clue where my chest camera is pointing at the moment. I hope it's good. Didn't take time, the time to check the recording this time. Like I say, I'm primarily, well, look at that car. Primarily on this ride. Just to talk about the things we talked about there at the house. The, the new walkie bikes, man. I wish I had one. What if they let me trade this in? Or at least I wonder if they're gonna come out with a kit where you can uh, change the battery in the motors. I would be willing to do a video of that. If they do. Chances are though that kit would probably cost as much as the bike. Hey, right, let's see if we got a dog up here today. Today. Yep, there he is. He's right behind me. <laughs> Took off behind me there. <laughs> oh, a beautiful, beautiful ride. Man, guys, it doesn't matter what bike, what any bike you get. Even the bicycle, if you can handle getting out here riding on a regular mountain bike or something. It's not much better than this right now in this world to uh, get you out in nature, fresh air, see a little bit of the beauty that this planet has to offer. Makes you appreciate life, makes you appreciate God. Stop. We gotta go left. Make sure there wasn't no cars coming. Oh no, Mike. Alright. This up pedal says five. This is a big hill. Yeah, I'm still happy with my pedals. No problem there. Things grip your shoes like you wouldn't believe. Fault was constantly sliding off that other one. The ones that came with the bike. Of course, these types don't fold up, but I haven't folded this bike up one time yet, guys. Probably the only reason I'd ever fold it up is if I go on a trip or something. Take the bike with me. Football. 
One of my favorite all-time coaches. Jet Walker. Alright. What am I in here? I'm in five. Climbing a pretty steep hill. This piece of property right over here is for sale, guys. It's nine acres. It's got a pond and some woods, a lot of field. I don't know if that house is included or not, but it probably is, because they want like 123000 for it. But right there, that's an old beat up house. But when we get to the top of the hill, you'll see why it's valuable property. Maybe. There's another road I want to go down to, right there. Oh, I can't see right now. The trees are blocking everything. I, you know what? We can see from... I guess I'm going to become a realtor too today. We can't see from this next road over, I think. Some of the property. This is all part of it. Go down that's why right here. This is a beautiful road right here. trees are so full you can't see nothing right now. See there's a little opening right here. Well, that's blocked up too. But anyhow, there's a pond down this. Through them woods and another field. It's nine acres basically of woods and fields with a pond. I don't know if the house is included. Let's see, and my bike decided it wanted to keep going even though I was stopped. Anyhow. Now we might just might see us some chipmunks and squirrels. We saw turkeys last time we came through here. Crow out there, something big and white in his mouth. Oh, this is a beautiful place here, too. A cottage back in the woods. <laughs> Hello, buddy. Go, buddy, go. <laughs> Look at that tree. Figured we'd see some. Well, he did a good job. These perfect places did a good job clearing out the property. Oh, there goes a chipmunk. I got to see both things I mentioned. Let's go to my community tab. I got a couple easy to find Amazon links there. Click on one of those before you go shopping. I mean, I don't know about you, I buy on Amazon all the time. I probably buy thousands of dollars worth a year. That's why I went ahead and got Prime. So, before you go do your shopping, just click on my link first. That helps us out big time. All those add up at the end. I'm trying to make that grow a little bit too. And of course, the e-bike sales. You guys buy an e-bike, use my links. Don't cost you anything more. Matter of fact, I could usually save you 50 or 60 bucks just by using my link. There's a little checkout uh, passcode you put in that once you get, get to my link, you'll see it. I usually put the passcode with it. Use that passcode at checkout. Save you $50 or $60 usually. Heading on the bike. Milwaukee has changed their bikes, man. I wish I was buying that one right now. They did not change the price though. It's still $17.99. Here's a turkey, guys. It's turkey. Wow, turkey. Wow. Oh, see, there's probably more. Hi, turkey. Oh, he didn't even care. <laughs> I knew there, see? Sometimes that usually means something good's gonna happen. Sometimes it really don't mean nothing at all, to be honest with you. 
Sister having a bad day. Oh, are some berries? already get it. I don't think so. Maybe some, something else probably poisonous berries. But if you're going if you're thinking about buying an e-bike guys, please think about old Paul Paul 3232. Trying to get that going. And what I'd like actually even oh that's what they are. Those are poisonous berries guys. Maybe you guys could tell me what that bush is, but I believe those are poisonous. I'm trying to get the e-bike uh, sale thing going better too, the Philly programs. Anything I can do to help my family make a living. I mean, I'm on Social Security Disability. Yeah, I've been on that since I had cancer about 20 years ago. And I don't get much from that at all. So, I think we're selling stuff out of the house. We've had a little mom and pop shop for quite a while now. That covers a lot of stuff. Man, I tell you what, bills are getting bigger and bigger, ain't they? Price of food, bigger and bigger. So I gotta start begging a little bit. I'm putting the work in, guys. I'm doing the work, I'm doing the editing. You know, just like things that don't cost you anything at all. Just, just but just remember to use my Amazon like free buy your Amazon stuff. Hey, I'm done begging. Tree, guys. <laughs> Car coming up behind me. It's dangerous, this road. FedEx! FedEx! Look at this, man. Beautiful. Beautiful. I can't explain how this feels to be out here doing this, guys. You're stuck in a dead-end job or you're in the city or whatever. Man, it takes some time to get out on the bike. You couldn't get this feeling with a motorcycle, I don't think. Maybe you can. Just going a little bit slower, you know, pedaling. Getting a little exercise while you're doing it. Stop up here. It's going to take just a few seconds to change my camera angle. So I'm going to make a couple shorts out of this ride. So I need to stop where. There we go. This will work right here. I can get off the road a little bit. Oh, I didn't want to wreck though, guys. This ride was primarily for the uh, beauty today, guys. Get, and to get a little exercise. But I did want to let you know, you know, the information I found out about the walkies, man. If you've been thinking about getting one of these, now's the time. You could probably be happy you didn't pull the trigger back when I did. And these are good bikes, but they've fixed a lot of the issues that was with them. makes me want one. That's terrible. I hate wanting things, man. I would certainly like to give one a test ride and a product review. If you're listening, Walkie. 
goes for all the e-bike companies. You want product reviews done? Real test can be done around where I live. We have hills. And I don't just do one review and sell a bike. I do, as you know, I do lots of reviews. Way people really get to know the bike. I mean, you can go out right at one time, go, oh, this is a great bike. You should buy it. But if you don't ride it for a while to see how it's going to hold up, how do you really know? I and mean, I'm showing you every all the little things that go wrong with this one. You're going to have problems with every bike you get. And the Antioch is one I've been wanting to look into too, but one of the biggest disappointing factors of that bike is the seat. You basically got one seat, you're giving it, it's given to you, and you have to use it as far as I know. If I'm wrong about that, let me know. I'm sure you can modify something. Here we go! feels close to check in the footage afterwards but I think I mean I know you can modify anything but they've made it hard the seats are not so great I've been watching people you know, do a little bit of off-roading with those two and I'm not liking what I'm seeing with the off-road just beats you up I guess worse than this but I could be wrong about that let me know for those of you that's got them let me know. That's one I've been considering. And I got lots of people watching me talk to myself. Oh, that's an opal. That was an old opal or not? All right, let's see if we can get this baby up to here. Going five, fifth speed. And I'm climbing a small hill now. You done missed my opportunity. Yeah, there's another little downhill here. That's cheating too, so. I made it back home, guys. Even after all the disasters I had. Man, I gotta clean this camper. It's terrible. Hopefully we got some good footage. Alright, I'm gonna climb back up the hill here. Ooh, here we go! Yeah, yeah, whoa. Sounded a little bit like uh, Metallica. Yeah, yeah, whoa. Every time I get that. That's why I broke that dumb thing. All right. This thing's probably going to pretty soon end up in the garage. Been wanting to get it out of the hallway here. But I kept finding things to do to it. But I think I've just about got everything done. I want to get done on it. So there's no reason why I can't put it in the garage. Other than for the fact that I just like to look at it. <laughs> huh? Say who? 
you are let me see what kind of trip i took today 14 miles that wasn't very far all right guys what are we saying let's get this done jacks what do i say what am i about to do? 